remember all of the hand wringing over the Trump administration's travel ban? Well, the ban was allowed to stand, was put into action, and has now expired. Contrary to what some predicted, the sun still continues to rise every morning. The ban was a 90-day pause on travel from six countries. It was put in place in order to allow the administration the time it deemed necessary to develop proper vetting procedures so our government could actually know who's coming into our country. After evaluating nearly 200 countries, the administration found eight that were unable to meet the new vetting procedures. Standards as to Iran, Libya, Syria, Yemen, and Somalia were either modified, maintained, or eased. Added to the list, North Korea, Chad, and Venezuela. Sudan, which was included in the expired ban, has been removed. The key to understand, the new policy is not a blanket ban, and it is not indefinite. The policy is detailed and very much nation-specific. For instance, students from Venezuela and Iran can get entry to the U.S. with additional screening. It also allows all nations the opportunity to comply with the new United States guidelines and have all travel restrictions lifted. Here's the bottom line. We trust our government to protect us. While many took time to complain and protest the administration doing exactly that, President Trump and his team went to work. That work has resulted in a nuanced approach to restricting travel to the U.S., which is directed only at those who threaten our safety.